woman in the box. Let's give it up for Sister Talia. I'm with the um, Marvin X uh, Street on the Corner um, School. And so right now I'll be reading from his book, Notes on the Wisdom of Action of How to Jump Out of the Box, Essays by Marvin X. This one's called The Double of Women in the Box. There was a woman who lived inside a box. Her whole life had been spent inside the little box, squeezed in from all sides. She never went outside that box. People bought her food to eat, but she ate it inside the four walls of the box. She was cramped to the point of being crippled because she could not stand up inside the box. Not only her body, but her brain and spirit were crippled from living in the box. Her thinking was confused to what she could imagine inside the box. And that was very little, no big grand thoughts, only micro energy. Even her God was a little God, one that fit into the box. She could not envision her God outside and that her God ruled the whole world, not just her little world inside the box. Now and then she would be on the walls. I mean, she would be on her walls and put in vain and attempt to break them down and escape. But whenever she did, someone would come by and whisper to her, be quiet. She was making noise and disturbing other people. Be quiet. Now and then she would beat on the wall. She beat, beat on the wall. Beat on the wall. I don't want to beat on that wall, but beat on the wall of the box in a vain attempt to break them down and escape. I mean, she just beat, right? But whenever she did, someone would come by and whisper to her. Be quiet. She was making noise and disturbing other people. Okay, I said that she would, would comply with their request, trying to be nice, since she really was a nice person. She just didn't know how to escape the box. And she had to be nice to the person who bought her food because they might not return if she got angry and mad. Started screaming, howling, foaming at the mouth inside the box. She, she lived the life of a stunning woman. Her mental growth stunning as well. She could not imagine the finer things of life or how she might expand her spiritual development. She she might be able to fend herself, make her own money for food and other things she needed, even if she stayed inside the box. But she really wanted to get out. Somehow she gathered the energy to have a thought that went beyond the box. Energy that would stop her from being a stunning woman, unable to stand tall and rise from her condition inside the box. She began to figure a way out, a way to free herself, mind, body, and soul. She had to do something hard thinking, but she was determined to liberate herself. She saw nails in the walls and began to tinker with them, <laughs> pushing them a little and fingernails and then wiggling them around and back and forth and everything. And after a time, she could see a little break between the walls. And she came up with a name for the nails that kept her down. And then one nail, she, she called it ignorance. And then she knocked it until it just loosened. And then she beat, pressed another nail in the box she could call passivity. When she put counter pressure on that nail, the box started shaking, okay? She tinkered with another nail. And she could, she could call lack of desire and will. Then she started talking to the walls, telling them to open. She was coming out, now open. And she was coming out. She was coming out. She even told her little God to give her a hand. Her little God gave her a hand. Some people came by seeing the walls shaking. Tried to pound on the nails. But the woman commanded the nails to stop in their tracks. And they did, as she commanded. She continued her resistance until the walls of the box gave in. And then it was able to gradually stand and it eventually began 